ingressing into the spacecraft and launching to the International Space Station. Well, they just uh, cleared the crew transport vehicle to go away, so Butch and Sonny are stuck there now, so they might as well go launch. <laughs> <laughs> and here they are walking across the crew access arm, Butch nope. stopping to take a quick look at his spacecraft and launch vehicle. We're closing the hatch. We're getting ready to uh, launch in one hour and eight minutes. Very exciting. Yes, very exciting. Go ahead, ALC. Countdown clock is reset, T minus four minutes and holding. Roger. Flight, verify CST 100 ordinance is safe. Verified. Okay, all stations, recycle systems back to T minus four and holding configuration. If you're just joining us here at uh, Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, uh, go ahead. True access arm is deployed. Roger. We did have a uh, automatic hold of our Oscar. our uh, ground launch sequencer, and uh, shortly after we began our terminal count for today's launch attempt, uh, no indication yet as to uh, what caused that hold of the uh, automatic ground launch sequencer. The team is still evaluating data. In the meantime, the uh, the team is active. Uh, recycling the vehicle to a, uh, um, a a good holding state so that we can prepare for our uh, next steps. But for now, um, Roger, we are uh, holding at T minus four minutes, recycling the vehicle after a uh, hold of our um, ground launch sequencer shortly after picking up terminal count for today's launch opportunity. LC has gas. Go has gas. Substep Hotel has gas. Normal scan pattern included cap. Roger. And flight LC. Channel one. Flight. Yes. Roger. Flight. Secure CST 100 prop system. Last valve to remain open. Right. Flight copies. Probably take us uh, at least five minutes here. Yeah, copy. We're going to send it over to uh, NASA's Daryl Nail over at Hangar AE for some continuing coverage of our current FTS, status. LC. Daryl? Thanks, Dylan. And I'm listening to the NASA operations yeah, just manager's loop. Recycle status. Um, recycle complete. Roger. SYS, LC. Uh, yes, LC. GG3 is ready. Roger. There you heard confirmation of the scrub call for this uh, launch attempt today. Again, this was the ground launch sequencer, essentially the computer that yeah, launches. Roger. 
This is the computer that is okay, in charge. Okay, all personnel going to uh, Operation 85. OSM, LC. OSM. Establish the BDA roadblocks and open the flight hazard area. Roger. And all personnel on Channel 1 will be starting an approximate 65-minute uh, hold at this time for flight crew egress. All systems maintain T-4 and holding configuration. The hold time is, is not relevant at this point. The fact is they're getting it into a state where they can go through and get the crew out um, of the spacecraft. But I was mentioning the computer. This is the computer that, uh, when we go into terminal count, um, launches the rocket, brings a number of systems and, and a huge number of operations all at a rapid pace. Something with the GLS, it's not understood at this time what it is cause the uh, GLS to um, throw an automatic hold out at T minus three minutes and 50 seconds. Arm control. Yeah, per step 40, can you give me that call out uh, on the status of the crew access arm? Crew access arm deployed and latched. Arm control is terminated, ready for personnel access. Roger. And FELC? Go ahead. Start CAT TVM system monitoring. Roger. RLM, LC? 